Hi guys! So in this video I'm going to be showing you how I apply my foundation and that will kind of go in together with my foundation routine. So it's going to be foundation, concealer and powder. There's a few different ways that people like to apply their foundation. So they use a foundation brush like this one. This one is from BH Cosmetics and it's from the Pink Dot brush set. I usually like to go in with this round top kabuki from BH Cosmetics and it's from the Scope and Blend brush set if I'm not mistaken. And then there's also the Beauty Blender. Um, at first I didn't like this. In my last video I applied my foundation and I didn't like it uh, when I used the Beauty Blender. I only liked applying my um, concealer with it. And you can also get the dupes for the Beauty Blender. There's some that you can find at like Dwayne Reed or something like that or like CVS and Rite Aid. I'm sure they have them at Target and all that stuff so you don't have to spend like $20 or whatever for this little sponge. Now for foundation, um, there's three foundations that I always use. One um, is high end and two are from the drugstore. My favorite high end foundation is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This is seriously so amazing. It leaves you so flawless. To me, I think the coverage is like a medium coverage and that's fine for me. Um, I don't really like full coverage foundations. I feel like they just make you look really fake. And this one doesn't leave you sticky. I know there's some foundations that when you apply them, you can like kind of feel like a little sticky. But this one doesn't leave me like that. I, sometimes I can just like put on the foundation and not even have to set it with powder. I can just walk out and it's fine. It is a little pricey though. I think it's $45 at Sephora. But I feel that a good dupe for it is the L'Oreal True Match. And that brings me into my favorite drugstore foundation and it's the L'Oreal True Match. This is so amazing. It reminds me so much of the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. It's kind of the same deal. I could just put it on without setting it and it doesn't leave me sticky. And this retails, if I'm not mistaken, for about $11, $12 the most. Um, but I actually went back to Dwayne Reed right across the street from me and it was like $14 now. I don't know what happened, but I'm never buying it from Dwayne Reed, obviously. And then my second favorite drugstore foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, there's three different ones. They have the regular one, then they have the matte poreless, and this is, it controls like the oil. And it's, um, I think it's for like normal oily. Yeah, normal oily skin. And then they also have the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I think it's dewy and smooth or smooth and dewy, something like that. And that's of course for anybody who has more dry skin. I have more, um, I don't have dry skin or, or I guess it's normal skin. Um, sometimes I'll get oily right around here and then that's going to bring me into my primer. So the primer that I use is the Benefit uh, The Professional. This is like YouTube's favorite primer and I was like it can't be that great. Like, let me just try it out. My cousin bought it for me and it's amazing. I love it. I also love to use the Makeup Forever HD primer. And it's like in the little white bottle. I'll leave a link down on the bottom in the description bar and then you guys can go check it out. But it's really, really good. It's this white liquid and I just kind of put it all over my hands and just put it all over my face and kind of pat it on. If you want to get a cheaper primer, you can try the baby skin um, that they have like at the drugstore. I don't know how much that retails for, but I heard it's a really, really good primer. If you're not trying to spend like... 20 something dollars on a professional and since I'm gonna be showing you guys how I apply my foundation I'm also gonna show you how I do my concealer and my powder so the concealer that I use is from LA girl and it's the pro conceal and I use it in the shade natural this is super amazing I picked this up at Ricky's if you're from New York you know what Ricky's is and now they're bringing like a lot of makeup like that people know about like they have LA girl they have the whole NYX counter if you follow me on snapchat you saw me post a book picture of it and I was like oh my god I'm gonna die and then they also have um the Smashbox counter and stuff like that but okay I'm rambling on but anyways I got it from there and it was like five dollars or so and then to set everything I used the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Translucent Powder and this is so amazing this is like the most perfect powder I've ever used it doesn't make you look cakey as many times as I apply it through the day and that's why I love it so I'm gonna show you how I apply my foundation and my concealer and my powder so I take the professional and it kind of comes out like tinted I don't know if you guys can see it well, tinted. so I'll take like that much so what I like to do is kind of put it on my fingers like this and just kind of massage it through my fingers and then pat it on where I would get oily the sides of my nose, on my nose, my forehead. So today I'm deciding to go with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. 
and if you're trying to get something cheaper try the true match from l'oreal it doesn't come with a pump unfortunately i just turn it over and i just put it on my finger and what i like to do is i like to smear it on my face just because i find that it's easier to blend out and now you look like a cheetah now I showed you three different products that look so funny now there's three different products that I showed you like the brushes that I use um I like to use this one more so I will do like one side with the round top kabuki and I'll do the other side with a flat foundation brush and then a little bit with the beauty blender and I'll show you like the difference if you can really tell on this camera so with this one I like to like tap it in first I also like to put whatever's left on my eyes. I know some people don't like to do this, but I just feel like when you set everything, especially if you're not going to wear eyeshadow, you don't want your eyelids to be a different color than your face. That's just ridiculous. And then I know like a lot of us girls have like the light hairs on our face. And when you use like the flat foundation brush, you want to brush down. But I bleach my, um, just like people bleach like their mustache here I bleached the whole thing just because my hairs are a little darker so I just like to buff it in I really don't care and then at the end I'll brush down just so that the foundation doesn't stick to the hairs and then whatever's left I just bring down my neck so that's one side and you can see that it covered up like amazing look at the dark circles here and then over here you can't like really see anything and now the other side I'm going to do with the beauty blender like around here and then on this side I'll do the flat foundation brush. So with the beauty blender you always want to use damp. I usually soak it in water and then I bring out the water and then just kind of leave it like if you squish it there's a little bit of water still coming out of it so I'm gonna do this side and I'm gonna just pounce it on my face And the reason why at first I didn't like this beauty blender is because, I mean, I had it down. I had it this exact same way, but I just felt like when I was putting it on, the foundation on my face, like, it just was picking up the foundation and it wasn't putting it back on my face. And it was so annoying. I had to, like, put more foundation on my face. It was annoying. Some people go like this on the face. You don't want to do that. You just want to just keep bouncing on the face. And then for the other bit of my face I'm going to use the flat foundation brush I don't really use this but I'm just showing you different products different tools I mean to apply your foundation like I just feel like you see when it gets here I don't know I just don't like it if I were to ever use this I would definitely go back in with either the beauty blender or the round top kabuki but I just want to show you because you're supposed to do like downward strokes if you use this because of the hairs. I'll go back with the brow top of and just do this. Just buff it in and then brush it down. And since the beauty blender is so big, I'll always take this one. If I do use the beauty blender, I'll just go in with this one to go like in my nose. And then whatever's left on your beauty blender or your other brush, you just want to put down your neck. And now for my concealer, I'm going to show you how I apply it. So it just looks like this, and you have to like squeeze it out. Let's see, Let's see it right there. And I'll just put a little bit, and I look like smear it on. 
in the bags. Super dark circles, whatever that is. And then I always go in with my damn beauty blender and I'll take the pointy side and just kind of like squeeze it just so it gets a little thinner and it really gets in there. And I just start patting it on. And I like to go up and almost into the hairline and then I'll blend it out. It's kind of like an instant facelift. Not that I need it, but I'm just saying. And then whatever is left, I like to put it on the eyelids. Just a little bit. I kind of like to go from the inner tear duct all the way to like the corner of your nostril and make like a bee shape. And with the other side that has a little bit of foundation, I'll just like blend it together. And then to set that, I used my powder brush from Matisse. I don't know if you guys know what Matisse is. It's a nail polish line and they also came out with um, makeup and brushes and like eyeshadows and they're actually really, really good. I have some eyeshadows from them and they're amazing. And I'll take my Maybelline Fit Me translucent powder and I just kind of like tap it in and then tap out the excess. And because you do crease under here, I like to go in with the Beauty Blender one more time just because you don't want to set the creases because once you set the creases, that's it. You set them and they're never going to leave. I like to do this and then just go in really quick and set that and then the other side and I kind of pinch it just to make it a little smaller so it fits in there comfortably and then I'll take the translucent powder and just swirl that on my face. And then brush down. I want to show the hair. And that's how I apply my foundation, my concealer, and my powder. So I'm just going to go and finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Hi guys, so I already finished the rest of my face. Um, so that is the end of the video. Um, let me know if you guys liked it, if it was informative, um, if there's anything else you would like to know. I guess there are a few other things that I could have added in the video, but this would have been like a hour long video because I just like to ramble. So I'll list all the products that I use down in the description bar. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe and share the video. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.